Oh, good morning. So, beautiful morning above Bear Creek. <clears throat> so, big thunderstorms yesterday, hail and rain. <clears throat> Some interesting conditions that I haven't had before on this trail. So that's been fun, but uh, by the time I came to camp, it mostly stopped. A few drops during the night and cleared up. Beautiful morning. So pretty dry. Um, got some wet socks that I wore yesterday need to dry out. My shoes aren't completely dry, but they're pretty close. The toe blister is getting better, but it still definitely needs to be managed. It's <clears throat> difficult to, or challenging, I guess, to walk properly. And what ends up happening is pretty much the opposite side of wherever the injury is, you end up injuring because you're compensating so hard. So I've got a, <clears throat> a little blister coming up on the right side of my big toe on my left foot because the damaged pinky is the pinky toe on the left foot. But I've been walking weird on it, so I've blown that thing up yesterday. Plus my feet were wet, which didn't help, but anyway. It is getting better. It doesn't look infected. So I feel good about that. I just walk in slow and funny. Which is irritating. But anyway. Um, thinking about 25 today. Got a chance to talk to Sam a little bit. When I had cell service at Sonora Pass yesterday. And then pretty much text conversation after that. So he got an Airbnb for me. That I'll split with a bunch of other hikers and then I'll get to see him maybe a whole day he has his truck in for service on like the first not the first the second but somewhere in there hopefully I'll get to see him for a day if not at least dinner maybe he can come over to the house or I can go over there and hang out we get to chat I've never seen him in his place before well, not in Tahoe. I saw this place in Alaska, but, but anyway, um, 22 to 25-ish miles today. Um, terrain looks pretty easy. Just finished out one of two climbs for the day. It was only like 800 feet. Look at that meadow, that grass over there. It's so pretty. The flowers. So there's only one other substantial climb it's only like 800 feet later in the day also got a weather report from dad this morning it's like the same thing as yesterday so hopefully we get the better side of that 40 percent <laughs> and we don't get rain but it was interesting yesterday everybody did really well like all the people that were around me they were taking care of each other and it was smart it was good they're all very experienced hikers though so it sounds kind of funny to say, but most of them have done through hikes like the AT or some other long trail before, so they know what they're doing. So, anywho, um, yeah, it's like 50 degrees this morning, which actually feels really good. So, um, sunny, look at that. It's a happy day. <clears throat> oh, good morning. Another beautiful morning. A breezy. Not too warm yet. About 35 miles outside of South Lake Tahoe this morning. I don't know I'm doing about 25 miles a day. Have a nice short walk in tomorrow. And <clears throat> did 25 yesterday. By like five o'clock. So a beautiful day, lots of flowers, some snow fields. Seems like the granite is mostly gone now. And it's all looks like a volcanic kind of pumice. It's a reddish color. It's very pretty. So 
So we had a kind of gloomy thunderstorm off to the uh, east of us most of yesterday afternoon. And we just kept moving kind of right ahead of it. So eventually it caught up to us and we hit about 25 miles. There's a kind of a big group of us right now. It was like 11 of us that were together. <clears throat> but we got into a campsite. Everybody got set up and pretty much right as we finished eating dinner, the storm came over. So then we had lightning, thunder, hail, rain, wind for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So not too bad. Everybody was in shelter. So pretty much optimal situation. So yeah, another beautiful day and there's Chopper right there. We'll see you through. So this is a tent life moment worth sharing. Let me open the screen so you can see. That's my view this morning. This is just epic. Yeah. It's a good morning. And I have coffee. And mosquitoes are out there. Well, good morning. It's another beautiful morning on the PCT. Came up out of uh, South Lake Tahoe yesterday. Sam dropped us off Highway 50. Had a fantastic double zero at South Lake. Some great people. Really, really good conversation time with Sam. Really, <laughs> can't say how happy I am about that. He's doing really well. So, um, yesterday, 17 miles. New favorite lake, uh, Aloha Lake. It's good warm, like not warm, but good temperature for swimming. Not shocking. Feels good. Light breeze to keep the mosquitoes down. Um, it's a bunch of rocks you can swim out to. You can dive off the, the edge. It's nice and deep. And that was just great. So I went out and swam out to one of the rocks. Kind of laid around out there for a while. And swam a little bit more and back on the rocks. Some of the other folks showed up and I just had a really good time. Had lunch out there. And then from there, I packed it up, walked up over Dick's Pass, had dinner at the top of Dick's Pass. And kind of the idea was we were thinking about maybe staying up there because typically up high like that, there's less mosquitoes because there's a breeze and no water. So we carried water up there just in case, but basically the group split there. Um, half of us stayed there, half of us kept going. We ended up down at um, kind of the end, like the outflow side of Fontanellis Lake, and had a really good spot up in the rocks. So that was nice, tucked in there. Nice sunset, beautiful sunrise this morning. Got some video and some pictures of that. Nice breakfast up on the rocks. Beautiful view. So, yeah. Um, yesterday we were thinking to do 20 miles, but we had too much fun at the lake, so we ended up with 17. We got into camp at like 8.30 or something, so a little late. But today we're going to try to make that up and probably do 27, 28, something like that. So, it looks pretty cruisy. Um, no big climbs today. I think the biggest one is like maybe 
eight or nine hundred feet, and it's pretty gradual. So that's pretty cool. Um, my toe's doing a lot better. Yesterday I was able to start the day and actually walk normal. So Tahoe really aided in the recovery. So super stoked about that. It's so nice to be able to walk and not be in constant pain. I mean, it's still, you know, injured, but now it just kind of feels like a normal blister because the skin heals. And I said blister before, but it's not a blister. It's the skin was ripped off the toe by a stick when I was walking in my sandals. So anyway, um, yeah, it's still really good. I didn't get a lot of sleep in Tahoe. I stayed up talking late pretty much every night except for the last night. So, you know, last night I think I got like six hours of sleep, but I slept really good. So last night, another six or seven hours of pretty solid sleep. So I think things are getting better. But yeah. Beautiful, beautiful day. Lots of birds singing this morning. Feeling good. And good morning. Back on trail. Spent the night camped. Um, pretty close to the Peter Grubb hut. Actually, really close. A nice spot. Nice and dry. It's a beautiful night. Stars. Milky Way. Very little moon, so you could really see the stars. Um, it was cool to be next to the hut. Oh wow, look at that. A little ton of people up there. There's a lot of rock climbing around here. A lot of people around. So anyway, um, yeah, it was neat to be able to go into the hut last night. It has electricity, which I totally didn't expect. But we all, everybody that was around, piled in there and had our dinners. Um, one of the gals, bright side, it was her birthday yesterday. It was really neat, all day long, her family did birthday stuff for her. We started in the morning. They had a, a honey bun, which she loves. And they had a bunch of candles on it. So they carried that to her and sang happy birthday to her. And it was kind of funny and a little sketchy at the same time because the candles were the ones that don't blow out. <laughs> so they kept coming uh, relit. So that was a little sketchy in the wilderness. <laughs> But it worked out. And then um, we went past Squaw yesterday, which I was super excited about, probably a little too excited. Um, I ran a lot. <laughs> it was just beautiful. Um, yeah, my legs are actually a little sore today, which is really unusual, but it's, I probably ran 10 miles yesterday. Also got to go to the Donner Ski Ranch which I also had been looking forward to and had kind of a big second, late second lunch, early dinner there. Took a nap there. Um, had a beer, it was super nice. Yeah, and then hit the hut. Camp there, it was like a 27, 28 mile day. So pretty nice. And Today will be about 30 miles. And that'll put us just a few miles outside of Sierra City where I will do resupply. So yeah. It's been an interesting few days. A beautiful trail, good weather, no rain, no hail. Not too cold, a little warm yesterday. But yeah, everything's going well. So, yeah. I guess that's it for today, <laughs> for the morning anyway. We'll chat later.